Good morning. It is currently 7 a.m. and I'm taking Kristen to work. We're gonna vlog all day. Everything. Everything all day. That's how we do it. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's where like you uh, stand there and get ready before you get in. That's your car. where I take pride in my vehicle. <laughs> See, just admire. Boy, I'm so proud of this thing. I'm so proud. <laughs> See, that's that's how my car runs. Oh. That's why it runs so well. Time to get some gas before we hit that nasty traffic. <sighs> Look at it; it's already piling up. It gets bad out here. Oh my God! This is what you put up with every morning. Pretty much. Yikes. Next stop, Walmart, because I need a fishing license. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I didn't know they sold these at Walmart. Tandem bikes at Walmart. Who knew? I'm still new to this whole ice thing, so I can only imagine like what it's like to ride a bike in the ice. It seems scary. All right, got my license. What a hard test. All right, now we're on our way back home. I'm gonna edit yesterday's vlog, and then we're gonna go back out and do more stuff. Okay, let me just tell you that I am glad, so glad I have the tires that I have. This is all ice. And going down the road I just came from, there are tracks going off the road into people's yards because they're just sliding off the road. This is pretty crazy. All right, yesterday's video is all edited. Let's get out of here. This is what I do, I run my happy light when I'm editing. It's nice. Outside. Go. Nope, still no snow. A little icy though, I'm still a little icy. See, now it's getting a little bit cold. You can definitely see my breath. I really like when Penny poops in the grass when it's this cold. <laughs> I do, because it's easier to clean up. It's just like two icy logs, and just like right off the grass. Takes everything with it. If it was like hot out, then it would just kind of stick in the grass and you might leave some. Look at that, geez, that is a big one. Good girl, I'll clean that up in an hour. And now for our next great adventure, we are putting tires on Kristen's car. Well, they already have tires, but she needs studs. These are not winter tires and she is sliding all over the road. Okay, nobody's on the road right now, but do you want to see how bad these tires are? Yeah, I have to drive very, very slow. Annika, Chris says hi. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Okay, the guys from Midas are amazing. He just gave me a ride home so I didn't have to walk that long ass walk back home. Awesome, that's the best customer service I've ever had from an auto shop. So yeah, big shout out to uh, Midas and Eagle River. All right guys, holy crap. I was on the phone and I just saw this and I'm tripping out. Look at this guy. <laughs> Something came into the backyard and ripped the door off of the, there's nothing in here. This is, there, there's nothing, who, why? What is the, like look at this, they tried to get in. Look at that, the metal is freaking broken. And then on the door over here, if you look close. Okay, seriously, I thought the bears were sleeping. I really, I honestly did. But apparently they are not, and they are confused. Okay, they, they took a dump over here. Okay, I'm sorry, I haven't cleaned this up yet. Honestly, I wanna see what grows out of it. Look at all the berries and stuff. So he takes a dump there, gets into my trash over there, and breaks my freaking storage thing? Okay, bear, get a life. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I've been exporting this thing for hours and now it's like one o'clock. Ah, what a waste of a day. I have to re-export this thing. Okay, so now it's 2.07 and I'm finally done working on this. I think it's gonna work this time. I don't know what happened. You know what it is, I just need a new computer. This thing is ancient and it is not handling uh, the new Final Cut so well. So, yep. Now we're gonna go pick up Kristen's Jeep because uh, we just got a call to go pick it up. And then we are going fishing. Like seriously, all I wanna do is just drop a hook in the water. I don't care if I catch anything. I just wanna be like, yep, I fished in Alaska. I would like to catch something. I really would. I would like to take something home today to eat because I love fish. Especially when it's caught in the wild, not bought in a store. Just something better about it. But yeah, later on today we're gonna do something really awesome, by the way. I'm not gonna tell you about it. You just have to uh, keep watching. <laughs> so these are her new tires. They don't look as beefy as the other ones were, but yeah, I see the studs. That'll hold onto the ice. Ah, all right, that's all done, so let's go fishing for an hour, because that's that's all we got, including the time I have to drive there. Oh, and I just realized I have to string up the poles, too. Damn! <laughs> oh, well. All right. 
right, here we are. Hopefully I can find an open hole because I didn't bring my auger. All right, I think we're good to go. Holy crap, this is some deep ice. Hmm, wonder if I can tap this hole. Definitely not. That one looks pretty fresh. Yeah, I don't know about that. Might as well give it a shot. Nope, somebody did the same thing. Look at all that ice, by the way. Like, you can just put your drinks out here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Haha, <laughs> that's my first fish. So now we're trying another hole, because this gentleman, who is teaching me a couple things about fishing. Look at it, hole. Uh -huh. You can see when he bite and take it. <laughs> that is so cool. Little bit deeper foot. Wow. Put deeper, it'd be better work. Deeper, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Come on, up here, up here. All right, so I caught my limit. Now it's time to go get Kristen, because we have something else cool to do. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset. That is beautiful. This is so weird, it doesn't feel like four o'clock. Hello, beautiful. Okay. Nice, thank you. So what is, what is this that we're doing? What exactly, what are these short shirts for? What is this place for? What is this? Okay, so we're at Covenant House, uh -huh. um, Covenant House, Alaska, uh -huh. and we are setting up for our candlelight vigil and our executive sleep out. What? We are a homeless shelter for kids, so we use this night to try to share the experience with um, some of our supporters of what it's like to actually sleep out on the streets. So we've created, as you can see over here, um, our little homeless shelter village, wow. basically. And we've um, given the full gambit. Some kids only manage a cardboard box. Some will build their own shelters out of tarps and wherever they can find. Some some of the luckier kids actually manage a tent. A lot of the shelters here that I built are modeled off of pictures that we actually took wow. of homeless camps. So I literally built what was in the picture. So Yikes. people are going to sleep out here tonight. It's kind of get an idea. Mm -hmm. um, oh. What's the temp going to be tonight? I think we're going to get down to the teens. Um, oh, when, oh. when Josh and I did it last year, uh, it was down into the single digits. So you could <laughs> in like March or something. Right? Yeah, it was cool. Oh, that's though. even. It was, yeah, yeah. brutal. So these kids, how are these kids homeless? Like, how, how did they become homeless? What's that's the story? a really good question, and there is no one, like, quick answer. So we have a lot of um, gay, bi, transsexual youth from the villages up north where the culture isn't very accepting, and we just exile them from the village. Let's see if we can do it. And so the native kids come down here, and they're homeless. They don't know to do. Ouch. Um, we have kids who have um, a, a broad spectrum of mental mental difficulties, um, mental illness, learning disabilities, and their parents either don't know how or simply refuse to deal with it, so they just get rid of the kid. Um, and, and, and in some cases, it's not always the parents' fault. Sometimes the parents do love their child quite a bit. It's just the situation at home has become so unmanageable that there's just no place for them there. I mean, we have yeah. kids who are here who have difficulties, and their parents call all the time. Hey, how's my kid doing? Um, and ultimately, we want to reunite them, but we have to make it a situation that's going to be healthy for everybody. Can you imagine that? Like, imagine yourself being in the situation. Uh, it sucks a lot. You never know what you're going to wake up to every morning. Really? Or at night. Uh -huh. um, don't know if you're going to wake up the next day. I walk around all night. I try to sleep every day in different buildings. Well, you, you're smiling a lot. That's a really good thing. What are some of the things that you do to stay positive through this? Um, I don't know. There you go. It's one of those, you have a choice to laugh or cry. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes down to it, crying really doesn't make a difference. <laughs> young people came, and when we built it, the partners came. On behalf of South Central Foundation, our board of directors, we're contributing $25,000 tonight. To end youth homelessness forever, right? That is our goal.
the youth of this community with a message of hope. To those who are homeless, do not give up. Work hard, and because there are people in this community that care. It's very evident with everyone that's around here. For those who are abused and neglected, Covenant House is a safe place where you can come and we can find you a stable, safer area to stay. This month marks the third year of me overcoming homelessness. It also marks the year of employment at Covenant House. I'm going for school for my bachelor's degree in social work and my life has never looked better. And I think all of that to Covenant House. It's cool, they shut down this entire street so we could walk. Super cool. Watch for the ice. How you feeling? You freezing? This is what kids go through, like every night. Could you imagine this? <laughs> All right, guys, we're home, but we're both pretty beat, so we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, I'm not going to cook any salmon tonight. Probably tomorrow we're going to cook some salmon because I still have to clean them and everything. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!